I can't believe you guys convinced me to make this video, but I went ahead and made it anyways because hopefully it will help a few of you guys out there. What's going on guys? Welcome back to my channel. For those of you who don't know me, my name is Michael and I'm a first year medical student. And in today's video, I'm going to be talking about the easiest MD medical schools to get into. Now, just a quick disclaimer before we begin, um, getting into medical school is not easy. And a lot of the schools I'm going to be mentioning today, you still need a really high MCAT and a really high GPA. But the reason that these schools are considered easier to get into is mainly due to their acceptance rate. So basically the number of people they accept divided by the number of people that apply to that school. The other thing I want you guys to keep in mind is a lot of these schools are state schools and the majority of them are only going to really accept people from that state. And so if you guys want me to make another video going over the easiest private MD medical schools to get into, I certainly can do that. But yeah, just keep in mind that the schools that we're gonna be going over, they do have a high acceptance rate but the majority of their students are coming from in-state. And so if you're watching this video, it's probably because you don't have the most competitive MCAT or GPA. I did make other videos going over some easier DO schools to get into, so I highly recommend watching that video. And if you have an MCAT below a 500 and possibly a GPA below like a 3.1, then check out the videos I did on special master's programs because you're gonna fall more into that type of category where you're gonna probably need to do a special master's program. And there are some really good ones offered by DO Medical School. So definitely go check out those videos and I'll also link those down below in the description. All right, so the list that I came up with for the easiest MD medical schools to get into, I looked on the internet, I went to about five different websites and of course, nobody had a very consistent list from site to site. And so I kind of had to pick the schools that were listed most often and on the most websites. And then I did a little bit of digging as well. And so I hope this is a very comprehensive list for you guys. I definitely went to each of these schools' websites and I tried to get all of the data off of their website instead of just stealing the data from other people's lists um, from the internet. So. Hopefully this will be helpful to a lot of you guys, but let's get into the easiest MD schools to get into. All right, so the first school is the University of Arkansas for Medical Sciences College of Medicine. They have an average GPA of a 3.79, an average MCAT of a 509. They do accept students from out of state and they had listed about a third of their incoming classes are from out of state, so about 33%. And then after doing my own calculations, it looked like their acceptance rate was about 8%. So if you guys have a low MCAT and a low GPA, and you wanna increase your chances of getting into medical school from basically like this 8%, all the way up to 80%. Check out the video down below in the description where I go over how to actually accomplish this. All right, so the second school is East Carolina University at Brody College of Medicine. Average GPA 3.65, average MCAT 508. They do not accept out-of-state residents and they have an acceptance rate of 8%. The third school is the University of Missouri at Kansas City College of Medicine. Average GPA 3.81, average MCAT 508. Um, I wasn't quite sure if they accept out of state residents. I think they do, but definitely don't quote me on that and make sure to email them and ask them how much of their incoming class comes from out of state. Um, and then they do have an acceptance rate of 13.5%. All right, so the fourth school is the University of Tennessee Health Sciences Center. They have an average GPA of a 3.7, an average MCAT of 511, and they do accept people from out of state, and they have an acceptance rate of 12%. And so hopefully at this point, you guys can realize that this list is not from like easiest to hardest. I just made up the list. There's about 14 or 15 schools, I can't really remember. Um, but yeah, this is not in any particular order. And your best bet of getting into one of these schools is if you're from that state. So 
Keep that in mind as we go through this list. Now, the next medical school is the Medical College of Georgia at Augusta University. They have an average GPA of 3.8. They have an average MCAT of 511. They do not accept people that are not from Georgia. So if you're not from Georgia, do not apply to this school and they have an average acceptance rate of 7.5%. The next school we have is the University of Oklahoma College of Medicine. They have an average GPA of 3.72. They have an average MCAT of 509. They do accept um, a few people from out of state. I wouldn't recommend applying to this school if you're not from Oklahoma. I know the osteopathic school has a very strong in-state bias. And so I'm assuming that the MD school or this school also has an in-state bias. Um, but it did say that they do accept people from out of state. Um, and they have an average acceptance rate of 6.1%. Now the next school is the University of Mississippi School of Medicine. They have an average GPA of 3.7, an average MCAT of 507. Um, they do not accept students from out of state, and they have an average acceptance rate of 40%. I did not find this number on their website. I found it on another website that had it listed at 40%. So kind of take that with a grain of salt. And then obviously, since they don't take people from out of state, you have a really good shot of getting into this school if you're from Mississippi. Now the next school I have listed is the University of South Dakota at Sanford School of Medicine. Um, they have an average GPA of 3.86. They have an average MCAT of 509. They do not accept people from out of state, and they have an average acceptance rate of 14%. The next school is the University of North Dakota School of Medicine. Um, they have an average GPA of a 3.5, average MCAT 507. They do accept some students from out of state, but you have to be within that region. So just the surrounding states, including South Dakota and North Dakota, and then just the other surrounding states there. Um, you can find the full list of states that they accept students from on their website, and then you'll have an 18% chance of getting accepted there. Now, the next school I have listed is another Georgia school. It's called Mercer University School of Medicine. Um, they have an average GPA of 3.59, average MCAT of 503. So as you guys can see, this school is accepting um, some so as you guys can see, this school is accepting lower GPA and lower MCAT than the other ones, but you have to be from Georgia. Um, they do accept a few students from out of state, but like North Dakota, you have to be in a state that is around Georgia because they do have a strong regional bias. And then they have an average acceptance rate of 9.5%. The next school is Louisiana State University at Shreveport. I think that's how you say it, School of Medicine. Um, average GPA, 3.65. Average MCAT, 505. I wasn't able to find on their website if they accept students from out of state, so you might want to look into that. And then you have a 27% chance of being accepted to that school, which that 27% makes me think that they do not accept people from out of state. And so, um, yeah, just make sure to do your homework. And if you're planning on applying to LSU, then definitely make sure you are from Louisiana. Otherwise, you need to email admissions and make sure that they accept out of state students. The next school I have is the University of Kentucky College of Medicine. They have an average GPA of 3.72, an average MCAT of 505. And also, I wasn't able to find out if they accepted people from out of state but they do have an average acceptance rate of 11%. The next school I have is the University of Nebraska College of Medicine. They have an average GPA of 3.79, an average MCAT of 512. They do accept a few students from out of state, but also they have a strong regional bias, so make sure you're from that region and then they have an acceptance rate of 8%. So guys, that's my list of the easiest MD medical schools to get into. As you guys can see, a lot of them do not accept people from out of state, but if you're from one of those states, you have a really good shot at getting into one of these schools. Um, the other thing to keep in mind is they still require a very high MCAT and GPA, and so if you have a low GPA 
and a low MCAT, depending on how low your stats are, I would recommend applying to a DO school. And if your stats are really low, apply to doing a special master's program at either an MD school. Some of these MD schools do offer special master's programs, but I find that the most beneficial special master's programs are offered at DO medical schools. And so I made a ton of videos on special master's programs, DO medical schools, and all of that good stuff. You can find all of those links down below. But I really hope that this video helped a few of you out there. If we can just get one of you guys to get into medical school, I consider that success. And so if you guys have any additional questions, either drop them down in the comments below. I try and answer everyone's questions. Otherwise, if you guys are concerned with your GPA or MCAT or kind of how to move forward in your pre-med journey, come chat with me on Facebook. I have a Facebook page called Med School Mentor where I offer pre-med advising. And so with that being said, guys, I hope you enjoyed this video. Make sure to give it a like, subscribe to my channel, and I hope to see you guys in my next video.